Welcome to Hacking with Python 8, Basic Botnet. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. We'll be using object-oriented concepts in this video, so if you have never used classes or objects in Python, you may struggle to follow along. The first few videos in my Python Intermediate series should get you up to speed. So quickly, what is SSH? SSH stands for Secure Shell. This is because it allows for a remote shell or command line operation. It is secure because it is encrypted, unlike its predecessor, Telnet. SSH is an interesting topic to read about, and if you get the time, reading about it may interest you. We're going to need to set up an SSH server to test our botnet on, so I'll go through how to install one on our Ubuntu build. If you're using a different system, it may be easier to Google a guide to set up an SSH server on your operating system. So, how is our botnet going to work? We're going to use the pexpect library with the px ssh module to connect to the ssh server. Once we connect, we store the connection and have it wait for a command. We can then call a function to send a command to all of the servers in our list. The current version of px ssh module has an annoying bug in it. It works on some machines and doesn't on others. So I've uploaded a fixed version of the module for us to use in the slides folder. You can find it in the description. Download the px ssh file .py file and make sure you put it in the same folder as your code file. Our program is going to use a class called client to manage our connection to the SSH server. Then we're going to store each of those clients in a list. Remember to make sure that you have the pxssh.py file in the same folder as our code file. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to come over to Ubuntu and start writing. So as you can see I've got my pxssh.py file in the in my folder and I'm going to start writing my botnet. Okay so we're going to call the file uh, botnet.py. So I'll start it up so botnet.py. Okay so we're going to import the pxssh module. So import pxssh Okay, so this will allow us to connect to an SSH server using the pexpect library. Okay, so now I'm going to create a class, which is going to be our client class. So we're going to call use the keyword class and call it client. Okay, so now we're going to create our initializer. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and that's going to take itself, the host, the user, and the password. Okay. Now in our initializer, we're going to set self.host to equal the host that we passed in. And self.user is going to equal the user that we pass in and self dot password which is going to be the password we pass in and I noticed on my last line I put D instead of an F there we go fix that up and we're also going to store one more thing which is going to be self dot session so this is going to be our SSH session and that's going to be equal to oops equal to self dot connect and connect is going to be a function that we write next okay now we're going to write our next method for our client which is going to be our connect method so def connect and that's going to take self okay now inside here we're going to try just in case our connect fails so we're going to try s equals px ssh for the module dot px ssh for the initializer. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to try and log in. So s dot login, and we're going to pass it self dot host self user and self dot 
password. And that's all we need to pass in. And once it's done logging in, we're going to return our session. So return S. Now if it fails, we're going to accept and we're going to use the exception class. So accept, accept, uh, exception and it's going to be the comma E. So we're going to get the output of the exception as E. And inside our accept, we'll print out what E was so we can see what the error is. Print E. And we'll also print out that there was an error connecting. So print error connecting. Okay. So that's our connect function done or method. Okay, so we're going to do one more one more method. So that's going to be our send command method. So def send underscore command oop, command and that's going to take self and cmd for command. Okay, inside our send command function we are going to use self dot session so our SSH connection and we're going to send send line and we're going to send the command through. Okay and now we're going to use self dot session dot prompt which is going to return back uh, it's going to well it's going to press enter on our command so our command is run and then what we're going to do is we're going to return the results so self dot session dot before so everything before the current prompt so everything that we just got that command to output and that's our self send command done and our client class completed so now let's write a couple of global functions so def bot net command so this is going to be our function that sends uh, the command to all of our bots so pass in a parameter called command okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do for each client so client in botnet we're going to output equals client dot send underscore command and then the command that we want to send them so this way we get back all our output that we want to put out from the command and then we're going to print that to the screen so print put a star for make it look nice Oops, put that in quotes and we'll do output from and then we'll put in the current client host so plus client dot host so that way we know the outputs coming from the host that was sent the command and then we'll print the output so put a plus make it look nice and we're going to plus the output and that'll be the output of the command that was run on that client. And that's our botnet function done. Well, our command then. And we're going to have one more function called def add client. So this will add a client to our botnet. And that's going to take a host, user, and password. Okay. So inside our add client, we're going to have two lines. We're going to have client equals client with a capital C this time because that's our class. And that's going to take the host, user, and the password. Now we're going to 
add it to our botnet. So botnet dot append. And we're going to pass in the client. So that'll add our client session to our botnet. And now after we've created our two functions, we're going to write our botnet. So pretty much all it is, is we create our list. So botnet is our list. That equals an empty list. And now we're going to add client. And we're going to use the loopback address, which means the address of our computer. So that's always 127.0.0.1. So that always means our computer. And the user is going to be, for me, it's going to be Ubuntu, because that's the name of my login. And then the password for my login. So that's also Ubuntu. Okay. So we've added a client to our botnet. You can keep adding more, so I could copy that line and I, if I had more accounts on this uh, virtual machine, I could add them and I'd connect to each one of them. And then we can send commands to them all by typing botnet command. And then we pass in the command we want to say send. So I'll send in uh, list everything in list form in the directory. So this is going to list everything in the home directory, I believe, because that'll be where we connect into. Okay, so that's our botnet created, our basic botnet. So you can add as many clients as you want in there. Just use the add client function and then your botnet command, which will send commands. Okay, so I'll save this and we'll now install a basic SSH server to test this on. Okay, so if you're on Ubuntu, it's really easy to set up a basic SSH server. All we do is we use our sudo command for super user apt dash get. We want to install SSH. Now if we run that, it'll ask for our password. And then it starts reading the package lists and it will install it for us. And done. Okay. So now we can test our program. It's going to try and connect to the SSH server we now have running and installed. So python botnet.py. Now we run that. It will connect. There we go. And it's listed the directory. So it's run the c command on the uh, botnet. And as you can see, it's come up with the listing of the directory. So it actually looks like it's the uh, home directory, I think. Yep, this is our home directory. has all the hidden files. And if we scroll up, you can see output from 127.0.0.1. And the command was executed was ls-la. And this is the output from it. So it's worked correctly. Awesome. Okay. Oops. Wrong one. There we go. Okay. So this concludes our basic botnet framework. Uh, don't fear if you don't remember all of this. Uh, you can easily come back and rewatch the video to consolidate all the information. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer it as best as possible. And if you have any problems, be sure to leave it in the comments because I should be able to fix it for you. Um, next, we'll be writing an SSH brute force program. Thanks for watching.